Today is Thursday and I'm at Sam's Club. I haven't done a video here for about a week. Anyways, I have to run in here. My wife told me I need a garbage bag, so we're going to find out the high cost of garbage bags. You know, just cheap plastic. And uh, I want to get some Hawaiian rolls and I'm looking for a snack. I'm a snack hound, so uh, and not potato chips. I'm not looking for potato chip snacks. I'm looking for something like a bunt cake or something. I know it sounds sounds crazy, but I don't know. I, I have a taste for a bunt cake and if there's something there with frosting on it, I'm going to try and get one. I hope it's not ginormous. I know they have ginormous pies there that are about four and a half or five pounds i don't need anything like that no, no unless i had some vanilla ice cream then I, then I might take one i'll consider it but anyways uh let's head into sam's let's check some prices let's have some fun okay now i'm looking at the veggie straws i i said i wasn't going to get any snacks but I, um I, I may have to not veggie straws but oops um the flavor on these guys has gone way down 23 ounces for 748 and the price has gone way up flavor down and quantity down in price way up 748 but what I'm looking for not these skinny pops by the way they are um, 350 off and it's a big box this is light as a feather look at this box light as a feather 1398 but these this right here cheese caramel corn this was a dollar off last time and I bought two bags shake it mix it because this caramel corn is really good and you have the, the caramel corn on the bottom and the cheese corn on the top and I actually like the cheese corn first, then it. I don't shake it and mix it. $6.48, and I'm going to get me a bag of it. Last time it was a dollar off, and I bought two bags, and, and they're gone. And this is, this is really delicious stuff. Now, they have a bigger bag. This is 23.5 ounces. A bigger bag at Costco, but it's about, I think, a dollar more. But still, this, this Creators, if, if that's the name, really good stuff for caramel corn and cheese corn i highly recommend it now this is uh, this is on sale here but why would you sell gives give additional savings of 50 cents off something on canola oil and you get two of these which i don't think is a bad price for 12 dollars and 28 cents and vegetable oil is the same price right here and um right here which is vegetable i'd rather have vegetable oil than canola oil uh, it's a neutral oil, 12.28, and look how much you get. I, to me, that's a bargain right there. I recommend the vegetable oil better. And here's the Mazzola, two and a half gallons of corn oil. And I haven't cooked with corn oil in a long time. I can't even lift the darn thing. But if you if you want it, it's 30 bucks. Now this is the biggest jar of avocado or artichoke. I said avocado artichoke hearts is seven dollars and 34 cents, and it's you know it's nice to see that it's glass, whole tender artichoke hearts in water 734 I don't think that's that's bad at all and here's a five bean salad 886 right here and you get you get two of these guys I hope they stay right here but look at this that looks really good five bean salad gluten free by the way eight dollars and and 86 cents that doesn't look bad at all and um, I bet that would last a long time that's I think that looks really good right there 886 and here's a big jar of these pickles i don't care for mount olive but you get a gallon of it, 128 ounces at least they don't short you on the darn thing i don't know if i want to lift it but there it is mount olive kosher dill pickles look at the look at that it's a monster size only six dollars and 34 cents i think that's a bargain right there in your petite dill pickles 46 ounces is 398 i like these better I really like the little petite dills, and it's it's members mark, so it's probably better than the than that Mount Olive uh, crap right there. But anyways, three ninety eight for the guys. That's not bad at all. I think that's a bargain. Try and get that at Walmart. There's no way. And here's some. This is a novelty stuff. I mean, I, I don't really have any use for um, stuffed um, olives right here. Jalapeno and garlic, eight forty eight. But, uh, and these are pricey too. No, wait, 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 you get two, you get two of these guys. Look at that. Two of these for $8.44. And if you're priced olives, they're expensive. But you can get 12 ounces of olives for a buck, what is it, a buck 59 at, at Aldi. But look how much you get for $8.44. I mean, I mean, that's a crap load of olives right there. A two pack of the guys. Uh, holy smoly, that's a lot of olives for $8 right there. But see these, really pricey. A six pack of canned olives. These used to be a lot cheaper. Six pack of these black pitted olives, eight fifty eight, almost twelve bucks. No way, really pricey. And I believe that I looked at this rails last time. It's on sale, two dollars off. See this? This is the bargain here, seven ninety eight for your rails right here. 
uh, marinara sauce still on sale. We still have some on the counter, and I think I'm going to break it open this weekend. Oh, yep, that's not a bad price at all. $7.98. I really recommend rails right there. And the cereal right here, look at this, $5.98 for the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Look at the size of these boxes. Yesterday I was at Winn-Dixie and the boxes were about like this, this thin, $5.98. And they were actually $7 for the big bo or the boxes at Winn-Dixie. They weren't big. But $5.98 and the Frosted Flakes, $7.88 for two bags in here. You get three and a half pounds Frosted Flakes, $7.88. Lucky Charms, magically delicious and expensive, but it's a big box. Look at, there's two boxes in there. Not a bag, so they're in a box, but inside the box there's a bag. <laughs> and then the Fruit Loops right here, the big toucan right here. I don't know how these birds eat anything with a big beak like that. But anyways, $8.58. Fruity Pebbles, $6.48. Strawberry, why would anybody come out with strawberry frosted flakes? Don't mess with something that's good, your regular stuff. Crunch Berries, $5.92, but it looks like it's a smaller box. One pound, four ounces. Here's your keto stuff, a dollar. At least it's a dollar off. Uh, Rise and Shine Mix, Special K, $6.98, it's on sale, it's still on sale. And this stuff I know is $9.98 at Costco, and here it's $8.98, that's a bargain right there. Honey Bunches of Oats is, our, our, they're $5.68, five, five I'm here, I'm stuttering because, <laughs> you know, it's hard to find anything that's on sale anymore. Honey Bunches of Oats with Almonds, $5.68, another bargain. Frosted mini wheats, I really love these guys. And um, I like to put cinnamon on them, believe it or not. $7.76, and I don't know why Cheerios is so expensive other than the name brand here. But you get two two fairly big boxes for $8.22. And some of these, I wait till they come on sale. But here's the Cheerios, six, $6.88 for the regular stuff. I don't know why Cheerios is expensive. Cascadian Farms usually is, is higher priced than this, but $8.98 for Cinnamon Crunch. Remember, always put uh, extra cinnamon on it. I really love cinnamon. And here's some of your Quaker. Um, a lot of people have this. The Quaker Oats right here in the variety pack, $13.28. And the Maple and Brown Sugar, that looks good. 40 packets, $10.98. Hard to beat that price. And here's the another variety box, Fruit and Cream. And here's the big thing. A dollar four off. How'd they come up with a dollar four? Old fashioned oats right here. And what do you get? Ten two five pound packages. So you're talking ten pounds of oats right there. Eleven dollars and twenty-four cents. That's really hard to beat. And they've got a ton of it here. And looks like looks like a lot of people have been buying it. The orange juice here, I don't think is too bad. The members mark orange juice right here is five five seventy-eight right here. And you get two of them. See in the Anywhere else you go, look at the pulp in there. Five seventy-eight. You usually get one or one of these, and they're about what three seventy-two, four seventy-two. So five seventy-eight for two of those isn't that bad. And here's a bigger one. Members, oh no, it's just, here's two for fifty-two ounces. Five seventy-eight. Is that the same thing? That is the same thing. I'm I'm seeing double. <laughs> or where's the other stuff? There's the simply orange right there. Looks like they've been selling a lot of it. That is $6.97 for two of them. And I've seen them for, I think, $4.72 for one. And look at the price there. $7 and you get two of the guys. So, you know, shopping at Sam's Club. Look like a lot of people have been buying these things right here. Simply orange from Concentrate. And I can see, I can see pulp in the bottom. $6.97 for the guys. Get, get down in there, guy. <laughs> That's not bad. Now, they had the bacon on sale last time I was here. And the Smithfield, I believe, was $10. But for the fully cooked bacon right here, Hometown Original, and you get 10 ounces for $13.64. Not a bargain. No, I don't think so. That that price is fattier than the bacon. And um, what else? This is $8.97. I don't think that's too bad for three pounds. It's not even on sale. And someone said that, uh, that pork has come down in price, and which is a good thing. The only thing that hasn't come down is beef, but look at this, three pounds of this is $9. That's $3 a pound. That's not too bad. Hickory smoke, that's that's not a bad deal right there. I'll, I'll have to admit, three bucks a pound, but here's some of your, your turkey stuff, and you know, all this stuff is all this stuff does is burn. Three 12 ounce packs of this crap. And <laughs> I just don't I just don't like it myself. I know some people have to have it for a diet, but 
you know, I don't care for it. And the black label is thirteen ninety eight, and you get you get three pounds of it. And here's your hickory smoked bacon, regular twenty five bucks is fifteen ninety eight, and I wonder if they're going to make this the regular price now since pork has come down. Fifteen ninety eight is really good, and I, I like my bacon thicker, real applewood smoked bacon. Fifteen ninety eight, right brand. It's a fairly good brand. Fifteen ninety eight for four pounds. That's not bad either. That's a bargain. Let's check the shrimp out here. Cook shrimp sixteen ninety eight. This really hasn't come down in price, and uh, I know I know this stuff is is cooked in India or not cooked, but raised in India. It looks good. I mean, I've eaten enough of it. These are large size, twenty one to twenty five, and here's some other ones for fifteen ninety eight. Not as big. 31 to 40 size, 15.98, and here's some large raw shrimp peeled in the vein, three pounds. Farm raised though, they're farm raised. And let me look, look at that. How do you like that fancy maneuver? Country of origin is India. So there you go. If you like farm raised shrimp from India, it's 17.98 for three pounds. And they have a bunch of other stuff. This is probably the same from India. And um, what are these? 18.98. And these aren't peeled in the veins, and they look like the same package. And they're also from, they're also from, from India. Get in there, guy. I can't, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't get them in. But they're $18.98 for the dang things. And I love these butterfly shrimp. I don't know where they're from, but they're just delicious. And you just put them in a little bit of oil. Look at that. A little bit of oil, and they, and they cook about a minute and a half on each side, dip them in some butter and some olive oil and garlic, and they're the, they're the bomb. These are these are just the bomb, unless you like the uh, horseradish and ketchup, 16.48 for three pounds. You won't regret it. They have the beer batter cod for 14.78, and it's cheaper than it is at, at Costco. This would be $18, and you get two and a quarter or two and a half pounds, but uh, it looks really good. If you can make your own tartar sauce, it's probably not bad. I wouldn't mind trying it. But here's their cod right here, wild caught, cod portions, individually wrapped, skinless and boneless, and product of where? I don't see where it said it's from. Travel travel long, their long lines out of uh, Latvia. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that landlocked, Latvia? in Europe <laughs> so I don't know really where they're from other than they're Atlantic caught uh, Atlantic cod wild caught 1798 ahi tuna 1648 right here oh my gosh my wife would love this stuff yep this looks really good wild caught uh, albacaris yellowfin tuna yellowfin tuna doesn't say where who caught it or what but it said wild caught so $16.48. Let's check the pizza prices here. I see something under $10. Ron Caden, $9.98 for this stuff. For Italian wood fire pizza, and you get a three pack. Three 15 ounce pizzas right here. It doesn't seem like it weighs three pounds, though. It doesn't seem like it, and they're just cheese. Get back in there, guy. $9.98 and DiGiorno, three count, right here, rising crust. 15, nothing's going back in anymore. 1598 for the guys. And here's some of the screaming Sicilian. I hear someone screaming already. <laughs> 10, 1048. It's a two pack. You can hear screams already. And uh, they look really uh, attractive, a box right there. 1048, haven't tried them. Would be interesting to try them. A buck 50 off. 1048, there's your Red Baron. 1198 for a three count right here. The thing is stuffed. I can't. I can't get any out. But uh, a lot of people like the uh, the Red Baron's 11.98, right there. Cauliflower crust pizza 11.28, 30 ounces. So you get two pack in there. And here's the Red Baron's here, a 12 count for the little little deep dish, 14.98 for the guys. Yeah, these these actually aren't too bad looking right here. But you got to be prepared to spend. Oh my gosh, they're open. Can I look? Oh, they're the little minis. The little minis, very attractive. Microwave or oven bake, I bet they would fit in the air fryer. $14.98 though, four pounds, five ounces. That's a, that's a lot in there. Yeah, these, these actually aren't too bad looking right here, but 
you got to be prepared to spend oh my gosh they're open can i look oh they're the little minis the little minis very attractive microwave or oven bake i bet they would fit in the air fryer 14.98 though four pounds five ounces that's a that's a lot in there so my wife told me i had to get some garbage bags and she she texted me a picture and i don't have my phone and that doesn't really help me but it, it was an orange box and i you know what i think i think it was i think this is it and they're on sale 33 gallon ultra strong regular 1898 they're 1548 so i'm gonna grab me a box and if, if i'm wrong well too bad i've got them but it looked like it was an orange an orange box and um, I'm gonna get them and you get 90 of them I, I think I think I'm right with this I'm trying to do it with one hand and hold the hold the camera there you go guy 90 bags and you get glad force flex I've never bought these 13 oh, 13 gallon can't use those twenty dollars and 98 cents and power flex 1798 for 90 count and I bought the hefty the branded for 1548 I got a bargain. <laughs> I found the bargain. Let's check out the chicken real quick right here. And they do have the drumettes back, and they're 98 cents a pound, 570 for the entire package. Still a bargain. What a deal. Chicken wings were 288. They're still 288 a pound. And they're out of the chicken thighs, I believe. Nope, there's one single package left. $1.38 a pound, which isn't too bad. Skin on, bone in. That's not a bad bargain at all. And the chicken breast fillets right here, two dollars and sixty-eight cents, which isn't too bad right here. Eighteen dollars. There's a lot in here. There's almost seven pounds in the in each one of these packages. Two sixty-eight a pound. Chicken is still your your more affordable protein, that's for sure. They have the beef stew at four ninety-eight a pound right here. It's a lot cheaper than any other place. It looks really good. Twenty dollars for that, and your beef chuck steak. This is $5.98 a pound. It looks really good, but you got to buy two packages of it. $26, $36.37. But you know, beef is just, there it is, $5.98 a pound. It's not cheap, but you're not going to get it any cheaper uh, than here at Sam's Club. They just have a crap load of meat right here. And skirt steak is how much? $9.98 a pound. Uh, that's the going price nowadays. And some of this, this beef short rib cut. $8.98 a pound. It does look good, and this is great on the barbecue. Fantastic. There's the chuck steak again right there. $5.98. And then some of this round, this is really tough unless you cook it a long time. $4.68 a pound, though. $4.68. There's beef stew meat. $4.98 a pound on sale. And whatever this is, top sirloin tip. Oh, that's got to be tough right there. $9.68. $48 for each one of them, but you get a crap load of them. And some of this stuff, beef Angus, what is it? Brisket, $3.98 a pound for brisket. Look at that. If anybody has a smoker, $3.98 a pound for that big bad boy right there. Holy smolies. I think that's the best bargain for beef right there is the brisket. You get a lot of fat on it, but what's the corned beef brisket? $6.38 a pound. It's not cheap anywhere. Beef is not cheap anywhere. Look at how lean it is, too. Uh, there's a little bit of fat on the bottom. You have to have fat and a, and a head of cabbage in there. Six thirty-eight a pound. Remember that when the stuff was two dollars, three dollars a pound. Not anymore. And here's look at this boneless pork loin. One ninety-eight a pound. Holy smolies! I'm gonna get some pork today. Look, this whole pork loin is twenty-one dollars and it's ten point seven three pounds. This is a bargain right there. And these pork loins, these are wrapped right here. Pork loin roast, $2.98. And this right here is the same thing as that, except it's sliced. But I don't need all of that. I'd like to get one of these. I'm going to buy me one of these. $5.75 for this. This looks really good. You know what? I'm going to get it. $2.78 a pound for that. There you go. I'm going to get the guy and the pork chops here. Always a good deal on the pork chops. Always a bargain. $1.98 a pound for pork chops. This entire package is 7.35 pounds and it's $14.55. Always a bargain on the pork. You gotta love Sam's for that. Let's look for my snack. I told you I was gonna find a snack. Blueberry muffins, $4.98. I don't know how good they, they are. 
but I love blueberry muffins. I'm walking out of here with something banana nut muffins. I love banana nut stuff. Bob Evans makes the best though. Chocolate, no, I don't want chocolate. Oh, cream cheese muffins and corn muffins, $4.98. They're a little dry though. I've got to find something. Cinnamon crunch muffin, $4.98. I know, I know. Say what you want, but I'm a snack hound. They look good, don't they? You know, I'm I'm kind of partial to the blueberry muffins over here for five dollars. I just need to look at the dates: January second, December thirty-first, January second. So, oh, January third, these look good. Oh, January fourth. The farther back I go, you go from the uh, December thirty-first, January second, third, and fourth, and I'm gonna go with the fourth right here. <laughs> four dollars and 98 cents for the guys I'm gonna put them in the basket there's my snack for tonight oh, it's gonna be it's gonna last through the weekend maybe maybe not 20 bucks for a tray a breakfast tray 2098 I don't need that and here's some apple turnovers 598 they don't look bad they don't look bad at all no they don't I'm hungry right now I just got off work so Four count variety pack of Danish. I don't care for Danish too much, but these apple turnovers are mighty tempting. And oh, look at there's granulated sugar on top too. <laughs> I'm tempted. Let's check the grapes real quick here. I know it's running kind of long. Six ninety eight for the red seedless right here. And I didn't get the wine rolls. Candy Heart red grapes here. These are seven dollars and sixty seven cents. And the green grapes are $8.92 for the cotton candy. The cotton candy used to be expensive, but now they've come down in price. They used to be $10, bucks, but that's still pricey. And blueberries are $5.96 over there for 18 ounces. That's pretty sad. Wow, they're so expensive. They have 8 pounds of navel oranges for $8.96. And it seems to be the going price. And they look really, they look really nice. Look at that. These are picture-perfect oranges. For eight dollars and ninety-six cents, and here's some of the blueberries. Five ninety-six right here. They're really big. Pop product of Peru, and the blackberries are seven eighty-six for the guys. And uh, there's the price of the blackberries, seven seven eighty-six, and the raspberries are five ninety-six for the the raspberries and for the organic. Nine ounces is five ninety-six as well. So if you get organic, you get very little for six bucks. And uh, the, everything really looks good here. I mean, I don't have to say they do have good produce at uh, Sam's Club. They do have creamer potatoes here, and their five pounds of it are four dollars and four dollars and ninety-eight cents for the creamer potatoes. That's not too bad. Not too bad. I believe they're more Costco, and I think you get six pounds of it. But here's the bacon potatoes. Baking six dollars and fifteen cents. Now you can get ten pounds for three forty-nine at Aldi, by the way, and um, six dollars and fifteen cents. No thanks. And these are the yellow potatoes are six. I don't care for yellow potatoes at all. These are six dollars and fifty-three cents, and the red potatoes are six dollars and twelve cents for for ten pounds. Look at you! Just, they, have, they have empty bags here. Where are the potatoes? There they are. There's the potatoes. <laughs> I didn't do it. 612 and the onions 798 for 10 pounds that's about average for the yellow onions if you got a big family 798 and here's the crazy crazy price on the mangoes right here you get six of them and they're really soft and they're fifteen dollars and 87 cents for the mangoes absolutely positively insane and the kiwis are 798 and my wife was looking at these the other day and I said, "Hun, can you please put those down? <laughs> They're $8 for the kiwis in a, in a papaya is $3.98. $3.98 for the, the papaya. I guess it's about an average price. And um, $3.98 for the papayas. I almost forgot my Hawaiian rolls. I can't walk out of the store without Hawaiian rolls. It's Thursday. We're going on the weekend here. I gotta have some Hawaiian rolls. I take them to work with me too. I keep them in my drawer. Six dollars and eighty-eight cents. They used to be three forty-seven all the time. Six eighty-eight now, and you can't get away from the price. They're never going to go down, but they're dang delicious. Here's the crazy price of ice now. Sixteen pounds is three dollars and eighteen cents, and it used to be twenty pounds for a dollar eighty-eight, and now now you get 
you get less and you pay more. So you might as well just say you pay more and you get less. 16 pounds, three dollars and eighteen cents before. Twenty pounds, a dollar eighty-eight. Those days are long gone. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's show. I tried to find as many bargains as I could. I came into the store and, and I got what I wanted. I got my Hawaiian rolls. Almost forgot the dang things. I got the garbage bags. I got my. Uh, I got my. These, these snacks right here, and I got my, uh, well, these, this is fantastic here. I always eat the cheese corn on top and the caramel corn on the bottom the next day. And then I got my blueberry muffins, and uh, I really love blueberry muffins, but now I'm going to have to stop at Aldi and get a half gallon of uh, white milk. <laughs> I can't wait. Anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.